hi she was seven I'm back okay so I had a video request today so I'm gonna cover this topic okay there is a successful lady and she makes good money and she asked me to make a video about how to act and treat men as a successful woman so that they don't get turned off you know because she was probably doing a lot of things wrong um, to turn off other successful people uh, to turn off other successful men it's not the same dynamic okay if you're successful and the man you're dating is successful it's a whole nother game okay you're going to have to dial back okay and a lot of women don't like to do this that's why they can't date other successful men they have to go down or they have to uh, be single so the one thing that a lot of successful women do is they're overly overly bossy okay they're so used to talking to colleagues employees people under them that their tone actually comes off as like bossy so you have to change your tone you know when you're at work you have to speak direct loud you know or just blah 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 like this hi how are you blah 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 but when you're around a certain man they like feminine voices so you're gonna have to lighten your voice and soften it okay that's another one lighten and soften your voice okay uh, calm down calm down <laughs> lighten and soften your voice smile smile okay because I know a lot a lot of times in business you're not smiling at work you're not smiling all day at work or you're not smiling you know all day but if the man feels you're happy when you're with him he's gonna feel you know like he's impressing you and that he's pleasing you so you have to always be smiling like um and you know you gotta laugh at all his jokes even if they're corny um you have to act like he taught you something new that you never knew um because men like to feel like they impress you so you have to act impressed a lot like if they're if they have a lot of money if they have a good job or own their own business as a nice car nice watch nice jewelry they are wearing that stuff for you they are showing these items for you they're showing them to you to say look I'm successful I'm I'm a great catch anyone would be lucky to have me look at all these things I have okay so first off you have to acknowledge that you can't act snooty and be like oh I'm just so used to this you know if you're already successful you have to compliment them on their success you know as another successful person you should recognize that and compliment them congratulate them on all their success and how uh, it's so good to see a man who uh, has good taste is um, smart um, you know loves the finer things in life you gotta like just boost up his ego all the way you know you gotta tell him you admire him that's what men want to hear they don't want to hear about your job they don't want to hear about what you have accomplished they don't want to hear about all the things that you've done because to them it don't matter okay to them it's just competition they don't want to compete with you they want to impress you so you act impressed okay even if you're not like dang and my last boyfriend had more than you you just act okay half of women's life is acting okay you have to play so many roles so you got to play a mother you got to play a girlfriend you got to play a wife you got to play sister you got to play cousin you know you're gonna have to play all these roles so when you're with a man play the role okay now you know never never try to pay for anything because that's gonna make him feel like you're trying to compete with him okay 
Never pay for anything when you're with a very successful man, okay? Let them pick up the check, okay? Never open your own door. Let them open the door, okay? Um, you know, let them be your hero, you know? If you're at a restaurant and you need something from the waiter or the waitress, you ask him to ask the waiter to get it for you, okay? You don't, waitress, can you come here? You know, you don't do that. You tell him your problem and he will come to your rescue. Oh my gosh, I, I need some ketchup or I need some hot sauce or I need another refill, I need another drink. Waitress, you know, let him do that. A lot of women will just do it auto, you know, automatically because they're used to doing that. But let him help you, let him do things for you. That's what they like. They like women that need them, okay? Um, so let them come to your rescue for whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like if you valet parked, give him your valet ticket and say, could you please give this to the valet? Don't walk ahead and say, here valet, you know, can you give him my ticket too? And see which one he car he gets first. If he gets your car first, he's a gentleman. You know or you know if you can give them to them at the same time whatever but he usually they'll say get hers first you know so um, you let them do things for you see if he pays for your valet you know what I'm saying if you arrive separately but you know but you have to let go of that competition you have to let go of trying to not act impressed you have to let go of saying I can do all this stuff for myself why I don't need you you have to let go of that mentality if you want to keep a successful man and you're successful because think about this there's a girl out there who doesn't have a job living in a one-bedroom apartment that he will drop you for in a second because she she knows how to make him feel like a man okay oh my god I love your car it's so nice oh my gosh I never rode in a car like this before automatically his ego is boosted you know oh my god you know I love this restaurant it is so good oh my god but they I need another drink waitress you know oh my god you're so smart and uh, ha, 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 ha. you know um they're going to do what they need to do to get their rent, okay? <laughs> so they're going to be more adamant about making him want to see her again, you know? Like, oh my God, I had such a good time with that young lady. She made me laugh. She was funny. She liked all my stuff. Dang, I just felt like 10 feet taller with her, you know? She just gave me compliment after compliment and made me feel good about myself. She was so fun. I'm going to call her next week or I'm going to call her to go out again, you know? Now, you go out with a woman who's successful and independent and she did all the wrong things, the guy's going to be like, yeah, every time I was telling her about something, she would tell her story about something that she also did that's equal or better. Um, uh, every time I talked about my business, she would talk about how she's going to start her business and uh, or how she um, is doing at work. Okay, and then every time I, you know, I drove up in a nice car and had a nice watch and dressed up really nice for her. She didn't even acknowledge it. So now he's thinking she's boring. She doesn't appreciate me. She didn't make me feel good about myself. She's just a competition. So even though she might have good credit, you know, a good job, a good paycheck, she's not fun to be with. She doesn't make me feel good about myself. And she's kind of boring because I have to sit there and listen to her stuff all day that I don't care about, you know. Uh, so, the less you talk about yourself, the more you talk about him, the better chances you are of getting, you know, a second date, a third date, you know. It has to be all about him. And then when you get him hooked, then he's going to start asking you about things like, so what do you want to do? Like, what are your goals? Like, what what can I help you with? You know, then he's going to start asking you, what do you want? Like, how can I make you feel as good as you made me feel? You know, do you want to go on a trip? Do you want me to take you uh, shopping or something like that? You know, you're not going to get any of that if you're his competition, if you're always trying to one up him, if you're not letting him help you in any way, if you're 
tone is bossy, if you're not acting impressed, he's not going to call you back. He's going to like, Psh, you know, I just might as well drive a Hyundai. So, you know, you got to act impressed. I, when I first met my husband, um, and I was asking him what kind of car he drove and all that, blah, 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 blah. When we went outside and I saw his car, I was like, wow, you know, that's nice. <laughs> so I think he liked that. He knew I liked that car. Okay. So he was, and I was like, just hopped on in. I didn't hesitate. I'm like, Joo. and <laughs> uh, he put the top down, you know, it was a convertible. And I was like, you know, my hair real, you can put it down, go ahead. It's not going to fly off. So. <laughs> Then I had a sense of humor with them, so he was laughing, you know. And the only thing rude that I told him, you know, was that I didn't like his music. And um, since he was trying to impress me, he needed to get some music that I liked, and then everything would be fine. Um, but that was like my only complaint. And he's like, okay, well, let's go get some music. But y'all already know that story. But anyway, so you have to give people their props you know they have worked hard to earn their success they want a woman to recognize that men do not become successful just so they that women can ignore them okay that's not why they do it that's not why they drive nice cars that's not why they wear nice clothes nice cologne and wear expensive watches they do it for us and we need to acknowledge it we don't have to be all stupid over it but we need to acknowledge it you know, um, and I know women say, well, I do the same thing. How come they won't acknowledge it to me? If they're acknowledging your success and all your stuff, you know, um, that means that they are trying to figure out how they can get you to help them. Okay. If they're more successful than you, you know, they have better things than you. So they're trying to upgrade you, not hear about all the things that you have that they've been there and done that with. You know what I'm saying? So if the man is more successful, praise his stuff. Oh, you know, I, one day, I, you know, I want that so bad. He might gift it to you. You know, you don't say, oh, well, I have this. You know, that's competition. Never compete with a man. You don't want to be a man's competition. A lot of married couples do this. You know, they compete and the man ends up cheating with some hoochie hood rat, you know, ratchet, what are all the names for? for these type of women, you know, um, whatever, because he makes, you know, I mean, not he makes, she makes him feel like a man while the other lady, his wife makes him feel like he has to compete. doesn't work that way. So, um, never tell a man how much money you make either, you know, give him the lowest you can go without being too obvious. <laughs> and always compliment them that's what they need okay they need to feel like they're impressing you and in return they're going to give you whatever you want okay um they're going to give you whatever you want because you make them feel good okay um I, I feel like a lot of women feel like they shouldn't have to do this and we're this and we're that but if you're trying to play this game and you want a successful husband who's not going to be your competition and who's not going to go looking for somebody to make him feel like a man because you can't then you need to dial it back it's not about you know I'm a woman I can do whatever I want it's about do I want to marry a successful man and have him feel like I'm not his competition or do I want to marry somebody broke that I got to take care of so he can give me all the praise like I'm supposed to give the guy that's very successful you know you're trying to switch roles uh you have to keep the gender roles you know if if he wants to be the leader head of household blah 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 let him don't say i want to be your equal because then you have to pay half the bills okay say i i want you to be head of the household I want you to take care of everything. I trust you. You're successful, so I know you know what you're doing. But have your little secret stash, you know. 
have your uh <laughs> have your secret stash have your money whatever you need just tell him what he needs to hear you know running the household all that means is you're paying the bills okay because women can get whatever they want out of men anyway they don't run much of anything just let them think they're running it okay my husband thinks he runs the household but you know if if i say i don't like like if we're going to purchase something big if he wants to buy something i'll i'll tell him i don't know about that you know like i'll act like i'm disappointed not like oh you can't get that i'm not gonna say oh no you can't get that now a woman who paid half the bills she'll say that you can't get that or you shouldn't get that and then he would feel like dang i work hard i can't buy what i want but if you don't pay nothing and you say i don't i don't know about that you know he'll listen to you because you don't have you're not telling him he can't buy it you're just saying you don't know how you feel about that and he'll be like well why i'm like well, you know, I think it would look tacky. I think we should hold out and find something different. You didn't say no. You just said you don't know about that, you know. Um, but if you had some money and you was paying all these bills, you'd be like, no, I don't think so. And he would feel belittled like a child, like, no, you can't have that toy. So you got to be careful how you talk to men, ladies. And uh, a lot of women do this unconsciously and wonder why their men cheat or leave or divorce them because they feel like they are uh, being treated like children there's a difference between women and men a lot of men say well I don't want to I don't want a child I don't want a woman to be a child to me but women often date older men okay so it's not the same it's like okay you're older than me you can teach me things I admire you I look up to you I respect you it's not a child and and you know relationship it's respect there's a difference okay um, but when you're with a woman your same age and she's paying half the bills she's going to treat you like a child because she cannot respect a man that can't pull all the weight and she has half to say so she can say he can do this or he can't do that you know because she has half to say so and if he goes against her his life is hell you know, she might go out and buy some something expensive and can't make half the bills this month. And he's going to have to struggle to get it, you know, because she's going to start playing financial games. And this is the number one cause for divorce, financial games, finances, money. So if you don't have money, if you're in a competition with your husband or your mate or your partner or, you know, whoever you're dating, it's not going to last too long, you know somebody got to be the leader somebody got to act like they're following act is the key word okay women have been doing this for centuries it's called acting okay they always have a plan b an ulterior motive they got what they need stashed away the smart ones do and they will play the role to get the lifestyle that they want okay because eight hours a day eight to twelve hours a day that man is at work okay you are free to do what you want to do eight hours or plus a day if he works from home if he if he's just rich and don't have to work you can go shopping you know you can do all these good things you know he'll give you more if you're respectful happy to be there treat him like you know uh, he's all that versus his competition you know if you're trying to compete with him Oh, well, uh, I can do this and I I have a meeting this morning and I have to fly out tomorrow and I have all these things I have to do. I'm trying to get this promotion. You know, you're not focused on him anymore. You're focused on your career and you're making him feel ignored. And that's why a lot of successful men don't date successful women because they get put second or last, you know. So you got to think about that. Like if you have all these things going on, don't talk about it. Just like, oh, I got to go into the office, sweetie. I'll be back. What do you want to do for dinner? You know, don't talk about all your problems and business and like you're so all that over him because he don't have much going on. You know, just say, oh, I'm going to be back. What do you want for dinner? Play the role. Then when you get there, you'll be the boss. you be the boss woman. Okay. You got to play roles. Women are um, given many roles in their life. And... If you can play them correctly, you can get what you want. So you just have to master acting.
to get what you want okay it's very simple um, a lot of women make the mistake of becoming their man's competition and that is the number one thing that turns them off my husband was married before I'm his second wife yes I'm, I'm, I'm the second wife he was married to a very successful lady and um, he said that they divorced because she was his competition she always wanted to outdo him she said he couldn't do this she said he couldn't do that because she was paying half the bills okay so he wanted to do something and she said no he wanted to buy something and she said no he said deuces I'm out bought what he wanted did what he wanted and became even more successful than her she was holding him back by trying to control what he was trying to do because she was his equal okay so it didn't work out then it probably not gonna work out for other people either if you are in competition and, and you know able to say yes or no to your spouse because you pay half the bills that's not right you should not put limits on someone's um, potential you know if they want to do something let them go do it you know so moral of the story is uh, like his wife was like high high up like she worked for like this big company she made more money than him okay he thought he had hit the jackpot until he couldn't do anything and then he left and he came and found me and <laughs> now he makes more money than her why because he had the freedom to do as he wanted and he didn't have any woman telling him he couldn't spend his own money and he couldn't do this and he couldn't do that he became the leader of his household he had a woman that was impressed by him he had a woman that um, told him that oh I like your car oh I like that the car that his wife said he couldn't have oh I like this oh I like that you know um, so it worked out you know now we got two kids got a nice house you know everything uh, he feels like a man he pays all the bills there ain't no half he's over here you know so he can walk around with his head high go buy whatever he want to buy and bring me gifts as well okay so that's what you need like when I first met him you know I was I was a professional but I didn't want to work anymore <laughs> I was done with that life so I downplayed you know my profession I downplayed my job I didn't even talk about work and but about two seconds to let him know that I had to go to work and then he told me not to go and I was like bye I'm not going you're right you know he when someone tells you not to go to work and they got you 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 listen <laughs> okay that means look I will take care of you um, so I you know if they have money you know if they tell you not to go to work and they don't have a job don't listen to them but basically he didn't want a working woman he didn't want a woman that was his competition he didn't want a woman to say no you can't buy this car he wanted someone that would appreciate him let him be himself impress you know impress her and you know do things for her be her hero that's what he wanted but he couldn't be that with his first wife because it was a competition so successful ladies you gotta act like your career is not the most important thing you're not in competition with him the less he knows about it the better okay you gotta talk up his ego make him feel like a big man make him feel like his accomplishments are all this and that and you can probably keep a successful man but remember when y'all get into arguments you can't say oh well I make more money than you or I make a lot of money I don't have to be here you know Blah, 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 blah. you can't throw that up in his face either because it's like you're doing all this acting for nothing and then when you get mad and become over emotional you tell him the truth anyway so you gotta bite your tongue you gotta, you gotta be strategic okay you never tell him nothing you are a mystery men already know women lie they want to hear the lies okay so I'll see y'all later bye